So here we are demonstrating dynamic voltage restorer project presentation uh, by using the battery power supply as a backup as well as main power supply is a main uh, source to the load. So as we know the dynamic voltage restorer nothing but it will act as a UPS nothing but uninterrupted power supply. So but in this uh, dynamic uh, voltage restorer one so whenever the voltage sag occurred like this one so this is a normal sine wave we are uh, providing to the load and this is the main output in between that if is there any like uh, oldest sagging in three phases so now we are presenting that for a single phase so in a single phase also the oldest sag uh, may be occur due to the losses and that will be rectified with the help of our dynamic voltage restorer so the system continuously monitoring the voltage levels so whenever the voltage sag detected so in that time so the system will provide the input voltage to that the at the same time like uh, it, uh, it, uh, which the voltage sagging is occur so during that pulse duration the signal will be generated with the same frequency and the same voltage levels so that it will be compensated to the sagging loss so then we will get the uninterrupted power supply the output end without any sagging load so here we are going to provide that so but in general like uh, uh, manually we are going to make the fault with the help of this potentiometer so means we are going to reducing the voltage means manually creating the voltage sagging so that will be identified by our pic 16 f 72 microcontroller and that will be monitored from the a0 pin and whenever that was detected then the system will provide the clock pulse signal to this and with the help of this electromagnetic relays at which the so called sagging was detected so the relays got switched on and from this h bridge circuit and the inverter so old, uh, on this one we can see this is going to be the dc to the AC converter. So here in our project, so DC to AC converter is combination of this H bridge as well as step up transformer. So H bridge will take DC input from the battery and output of this H bridge is going to be 12 volts AC with 3 amps of current and that will be step up to the 230 volts with help of 120 to 230 volts from 3 amps transformer so the output was given to this load through the electromagnetic relays so these are SPDT single pole double through switches so in that one the single pole was connected to the load and double pole was double through was connected to the one uh, one pole was connected to the AC main mains as well as another pole was connected to the AC uh, AC output voltage from the inverting circuits so here the battery is a rechargeable uh, one so we are going to recharge the recharge this battery from the 230 volts ac input so here we are going to the volts input uh, provide the 230 volts ac and from here we are parallelly providing that to the load so this is the output to the load input from the grid input from the inverter so it was uh, two relay board consist of two LED indications so power LED indications for the relay status monitoring and transistor to trigger the relays so directly to the volts AC to the 12 volts uh, AC coming out from this transformer so the transformer is step down transformer here so this is the step up transformer and step down transformer the output of this transformer given to the regulator power supply board which is act as a charging circuit on this one we can see four diodes which will use it to convert the AC to pulsating DC and after that the pulsating DC will be given as input to this capacitor for smoothing purpose there will get the pure DC of 12 volts and that output is given to the battery through these two diodes so here the diodes are in forward bias from charging circuits to the battery in reverse bias from battery to the charging circuits so whenever the battery is fully charged it will become the high potential one and the charging circuit in transformer will become the low potential one so then these diodes will uh, block the current flow from the battery to the charging circuits so coming to the battery ratings so here we can see three battery packs are connected in parallel so each battery pack consists of three four volt one amp batteries are in series so we will get 12 volt one amp so that three are in connected in parallel again so we will get 12 volts 3 amps so the output of this battery given as input power supply to the microcontroller as well as to the HB circuit so the controller start uh, when we switch on the kit so 12 volts DC given as input to this motherboard there we can see one 7805 regulator which will provide us 5 volts output so the 5 volts output is the main working voltage for our microcontroller so then it start reading input from the our set uh, potentiometer so when we set the uh, voltage 
below 210 volts then it this will be considered as sagging in voltage then the system will switch on the power supply to the load without any inter inter without any interrupts by using this electromagnetic relays so here so the dc converted into ac by providing the 50 hertz of clock frequency to this h bit circuits on this one we are using irf 540 and irf 9540 these two types of mosfets one is 540 is a uh, n channel mosfet and uh, 9540 is p channel mosfets so by providing the 50 hertz of frequency clock pulses to this gate of these two mosfets we are converting the dc to ac with negative pulses so that is directly given to the step up transformer and to the relay circuits and to the load whenever the voltage sag was detected so let us see demonstration so why we need to provide that to the devolts to the load initially so and switch on the kits to monitor the voltage sagging manually set so now it is this is going to be the arrow side is normal and i am decreasing that so when it is below detected then automatically these two relays got switched on to provide the phase neutral from the inverter end so when it is off so the phase neutral attached to the load directly from the main supply right